The safety of genetically modified, or GM, foods has been called into question since the early 90s when they were invented. With the growing popularity and availability of certified organic foods, I've personally been reassured by average American citizens that the term organic is meaningless. It's a meaningless ploy designed to charge you more for the same exact food. And I believed it, obviously. I mean, the FDA is there to keep us safe, and it's generally accepted throughout America that GM foods pose no health risk to consumers. So why then are things like bovine growth hormone, the shot that they inject into cows, something in something like 70 or 80% of all the milk we drink in America, illegal in both Europe and Canada. Yeah, Canada. Canada, who bases their health regulations on what the FDA decides, decided not to do that this time for some reason. So in a Google search about the safety of genetically modified foods, I was overwhelmed with the amount of recent articles still questioning the risks of in corporate involvement in governmental regulations concerning GM foods. Did you know that despite overwhelming research showing that genetically modified foods are recognized as different and foreign by the human body, the United States government has actually made it illegal to label genetically modified foods on their packaging in stores. Illegal. Like, we're not allowed to know. Why? Whether or not there is a risk, why should the American people not be allowed to choose for themselves? Instead, we're forced to suddenly pay more for food without chemicals or genetic alterations because they're labeled as organic and they're suddenly a special item. I feel ripped off. I'm a little surprised that the government of the land of the free has decided not to let us know that we're feeding ourselves and our families food that has been scientifically linked in at least one study to cancer and diseases. Why can't we decide that for ourselves? At least 35 countries has, have adopted mandatory labeling for any product that has been genetically modified. For some reason, we're not one of them. I'm not some hippie trying to rile people up, but it just seems obvious here that we're not being given fair rights to know about what we're eating. It's a little scary. And we're going to show you how to start an organic garden at your home. The first thing you want to do is you want to find a good spot. Five to seven hours of sunlight a day, good soil, and once you're ready, then we can start treating the soil. We have a, a pretty good mound here, and we're going to plant in big, wide rows. The soil's pretty good, it's nice and crumbly, so we'll flatten out this, we'll lay a line of seeds, and then we'll cover it back up. Here we have all of our seeds. I store them in a cool, dark dry spot. We're going to grab our arugula seeds here, so we'll be planting these up in the garden next. Alright, so we picked out our spot. This is where we're going to plant our arugula. I got, got my bucket of tools here. Get the big dirt clods out, get any of this dead organic material out, and then you'll create a little trough where we're going to lay the seeds. It doesn't need to be really deep because the arugula seeds are really, really tiny. Alright, so we take a little pinch, about four or five seeds per grouping, about four to five inches apart. So there I have three different groupings of the arugula seeds. So then we just cover the seeds up, pat the soil down, and then we're ready to water. Water pretty lightly because these are new seeds. In a couple weeks you should see some big healthy plants here. So when you harvest, you don't want to take leaves from all one plant. You want to give the plant room to grow in the future and produce more leaves. So we're going to trim a couple leaves from each of these, these plants that we planted. So there we go. That's uh, that's a pretty good harvest of lettuce right there. Let's go make a salad.